Today we'll be doing a tour of Fungible's latest exciting product, GPU Connect. GPU Connect allows us to attach remote GPUs to commodity x86 servers over standard IP over Ethernet networks. So in this demo, I'm going to show you an existing server which has no locally attached GPUs. And then I'm going to shut that machine down. I'm going to configure it to connect to a remote NVIDIA A30 GPU. Uh, we're going to power that up and show how the uh, remote GPU is presented as if it were a local device. And then we're going to run a quick benchmark uh, to show the performance of the GPU. So the first thing we're going to do is log into the uh, Fungible GPU Connect UI. And when we log in, we're going to wind up on the dashboard page, which is meant to give us uh, an overview of the infrastructure that Fungible is managing. So not too much going on here since the environment is pretty small. Let's see, we have one server um, <clears throat> and two GPUs, neither of which uh, are attached. So in this demo, we're going to be using this Supermicro uh, X12 machine uh, to remotely connect GPUs. And just to finish a brief tour of the UI, if we come to the GPU page, we can see that we have two A30 GPUs that are available to us. And they're both housed in one of Fungible's FX108 chassis. Uh, these chassis are capable of holding up to eight GPUs and are powered by up to four Fungible S1 DPUs. In this particular chassis, you can see that we have um, our first A30 in slot 11, and the second A30 in slot 8. So now that we've had a quick tour of what's in the environment for this demo, let's, uh, let's take a look. So the very first thing we're going to do is log into the Supermicro server. And as you will see, we're going to list PCI devices and filter for NVIDIA. And you can see there are, there are none whatsoever. We have no locally attached uh, GPUs. So for the next phase of the demo, I'm going to power off this machine. We can actually watch it power down if we'd like. And once this machine has fully powered down, we can configure uh, this super micro to remotely connect uh, to the GPUs that are in our FX108 chassis. So it looks like this machine is fully powered down. Now, in order to uh, attach the remote GPU, it's really simple. We're just going to go here to attach. Uh, I'm going to pick the second one and we click attach. And this has now configured the system so that when this Supermicro X12 27 boots up, it's going to remotely attach to our A3002 GPU. So let's power on this machine. And then we can watch the boot process, which is going to take a couple of minutes. So for the demo, hopefully we will fast forward and time lapse through this portion. Okay, great. Now that our server has booted, let's return to the UI and see what's changed. So yes, we now have our A3002 listed uh, as being attached to the Supermicro. And if we return to the dashboard, um, we'll see we now have a visualization for the remotely connected A30 uh, to the Supermicro 27. So let's log into the host and see what's going on. We'll rerun that same uh, LSPCI command to look at the local devices. And we now see that we have an NVIDIA uh, device on the PCI bus. So let's take a look at the details for that. Yep, you can see that this is our NVIDIA A30 uh, 
which we've remotely attached uh, from the from this FX108, this one right here. Okay, so let's run a quick benchmark. Okay, this is just wrapping um, a call to run the, the ResNet 50 benchmark, uh, which is doing image recognition. So let's run this with one GPU and a batch size of 64. All right, fantastic. So you can see the ResNet 50 benchmark uh, is complete, and we are able to uh, process 347 images per second. So <clears throat> thank you for tuning in today. Uh, what you've seen here is we've taken a standard x86 server, which has no locally attached GPUs. Uh, we've decided that we'd like to attach a remote GPU from the FX108 chassis. And uh, that's exactly what we've done. And this workload now has access uh, to this NVIDIA A30 GPU.